last us since the pandemic ended. Do we have enough people? Yeah. Yep. We do. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. There's only seven. Uh, all right, everybody. Welcome to the July NAM board meeting. Here we are. Uh, both physically and virtually having the meeting. Um, we're starting very on time. Everything's set to go. We can have a relational check in this meeting because we're not running late. <laughs> um, I know beforehand we were talking about paper towels. We could keep talking about yeah, paper yeah, towels yeah. if we wanted. <laughs> That's too wide the topic to be. But does anyone have any suggestions for topics? The opinion on small world. Small is that the board game? Uh, yeah. yeah, I have not played uh, it. I'm I sorry. Played it. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy and I played it the other day. Wait, oh, actually, favorite board it's game. It's good. It's really good, actually. Yeah, I mean, I hear it's very good. Um, but yeah, let's uh, uh, favorite board games or video games if you're really more of a virtual person. Um, Jeremy, favorite board game. Uh, well, I'm going to go video game because you've just added it, and it's oh, not yeah. necessarily my favorite, but I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't let myself get addicted to Di Diablo Four. So I just beat Diablo 1, and I'm now like halfway through Diablo 2. But <laughs> good games. Diablo 2 Resurrected is like, I was like, this game came out in 2006. How do they have like the dopest graphics ever? But then they, re I guess they remade it in 2021. Yep. But yeah, so I'm trying to crush all the Diablo games right now. Nice, nice. Oh, no, I'm next. I didn't think about this ahead of time. Uh... <laughs> You said you're so fun. Uh, no, I really like um, uh, favorite of the uh, fall nom workshop, uh, House of Danger, the choose your own adventure card game. It's kind of weird that it's cards. It feels like it would have been better if it was a book. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's based off of the old choose your own adventure games from the 80s. And you just have like a deck of cards. I mean, these people all know. But for those who might be watching on YouTube, uh, you have a deck of cards and then you uh, um, you flip one over and you read the passage and that's like what happens. And then as a group, you decide like how to proceed. So it's like, do you turn down the hallway or climb up the ladder or something like that? And it just sort of unravels this very weird story. Uh, we played it at the last workshop and we played like a chapter, two chapters of it. And we got like involved in a psychic battle with a doll. It was very strange. Mm -hmm. It's a very weird game, uh, but very interesting. So yeah, that's that's currently my my board game of choice. Although it doesn't have a board, whatever. I just, <laughs> I'm I'm the boss. I get to decide if it qualifies. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go video games, and okay. I my my favorite is uh. The Last of Us and The Last of Us Two, mm. solid, very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Great games. I mean, I didn't like the HBO special, though. I thought really, no. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, I just felt like I didn't feel the danger. The thing of Last of Us is you got to feel like you know the thing in the game is like you can die at any time. That one, I just there was no, there was none of the infected, you know, in it. Just was like a yeah. few episodes. Yeah. Makes sense. I go with sport game again. I'm playing Sherlock Holmes. I don't know what's the official title. The mysteries. It's like you have to solve cases. Cool. Uh, it's reading newspapers and reading what you uh, how to talk to uh, you. Uh, you talk to people, but everything is given. You just read it, but it feels so immersive. I really enjoy that part. Like you, you really enjoy reading the newspapers. <laughs> and, and why would you do this? It's it's cool. Uh, and I. Playing it, I'm playing it with my wife and now also with my daughter, with Fikna, and she even enjoys it. Nice. It's really, it's, I really enjoy it. Uh, what is it called? I, I missed the name. Uh, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, I think. Oh, yeah, cool. I think there's, a, there's a few of these. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be a lot of Sherlock Holmes games out there. Well, this particular series, there's like three big boxes. I, I think, think so, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's 10 cases in this box and they are building upon each other, so it's... Uh, Episode story and a grander story, which is developing. So, does it come with if like does the newspaper prop like actually look like a newspaper, and does yeah. it come with like different kinds no, of props that look like different things? No, the only there's the newspapers, and you have to read the articles, and then there is you get a map of London, and you can decide who you talk to, and you get the coordinates, and can look 
the dialogue you would have with those people cool. up in a book. And it feels it 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 sounds really I don't know, not immersive, but when you start reading it, uh, it, it, it really takes you in and you're wondering what's going on. And Nice. Yeah, it's a, a cool setup. I'm going to go video game. I'm going to go, is pinball a video game? Yeah. I'm sure. going with yeah. pinball. Yeah. I'm going with Temple of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> pinball. <laughs> Where the hell are you playing that? Classic. Uh, they used to have it at like years ago. I think at Hugo's. Did they have any Hugo's? I don't know, but, but I love I love Temple of Doom pinballs. Great. No, mm -hmm. those those themed pinball cabinets. Mm -hmm. They're all awesome. There's uh, at my work. There's a Ghostbusters one. Uh, oh, that's great. There's I think a place in near Worcester that has like pinball. It's like uh, the place in Hadley that does the video games. Oh, the but quarters? With pinball, yeah, yeah. Like quarters, but with pinball. So Ooh. one day I will journey there. The quarters does have some pinball machines, doesn't it? Uh, I don't no, think no. so. Oh, maybe they used to, but they don't anymore. I'm, I'm very sure. But going there There's quite... uh, when I was in, where was I? I was down in Florida um, and they had like this huge kind of like pinball museum type thing that you could play all the games, but there was like this one like super metal dude from like the eighties, like seventies and eighties would make all like, it was like the devil. And he's like holding like this, like babe. And like, oh, yeah. he's like, you know, like it's just like all of this crazy stuff on like the details of like the games and stuff. And they were banned. And, like I was reading the little plaque and it's like, it was banned in like certain places. I'll, I'll figure out his name. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, all right. Good, good relationship check in, everybody. Great. Uh, all right. Let's talk about the date and time of the next meeting. This will be the August meeting. Second Tuesday in August is the eighth. Uh, the first Tuesday in August is the first. Starting on a Tuesday. Um, so yeah, maybe the eighth or the fifteenth. I don't know how people's vacation schedules look like. I think I'm out of town early in August. I don't know. Oh, did I not put it on my calendar? Frick. I might not be around on the 8th. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But I might, the 15th might be better for me. I need to go and check. Uh, oh, wait, I can look it up. Count, basically count me out for anything. Um, okay. Unless it's the 22nd. I can do the 22nd. I can do all those dates, 8, 15, and 20 seconds. Yeah, at the moment, I'm also open. Oh, cool. I'm back on the 6th from the thing I'm doing. So I'm actually fine for the 8th. I think we should make sure, like, Nola is out for sure. I assume she's yep. not coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, did, did she did first? she tender her resignation? Uh she sent me an email to that effect, yes. Okay, okay cool. Do you want to put that in the board? Oh yeah, I can do that or something sure. yep. or send it to me and I'll do it. Or... Oh yeah, because we have that section for email correspondence. So yes, I'll put that in there. Yeah, Melissa resigned or no, 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 I did. Okay. Uh but then we should check for sure, like if Jeremy only can do on the twenty second, that everyone commits to the date. So we because we are very thin then on the Yes, paper. we can only afford to lose one person before we lose four. Uh, and if Jeremy only can do it the 22nd. Then we should do the 22nd. Then it's kind of the 22nd <laughs> or which, like, I don't know how it looks for everyone else, but we need everyone. Yeah, for sure. Here. Otherwise, we don't. Okay, so then let's plan on the 22nd. Will that ever go to an answer machine? Yeah, there is an answer machine. <laughs> yeah, ever. Let's just go to an answer machine. They keep going. They called back. Uh, I see how it is. They just keep calling. Okay. September 13th. Okay, August 22nd. Um, Here, I'll put that down like September. <laughs> I 
for the whole rest of the meeting, we will have a phone ringing. At one o'clock. Wait, who is it? September 13th at one o'clock? <laughs> That's the middle of the week. Yeah, been showing uh, the week. I'll try five times, but a sixth time <laughs> is too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So <laughs> cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, we want to approve the June minutes. I am going to screen share them because I have them up. Uh, somewhere. That's the agenda. No, nope, that's the agenda. This is, yeah, this is cool. Okay, screen share. <laughs> but I, uh, I can't see the thing. Boop. Okay, last month in the NOM board meeting, um, we started a little late um, due to some technical stuff, but we did get going. Um, so it was a slightly abbreviated meeting, about a half an hour. Uh, we had uh, a great director's report, the station won an Emmy, very cool. Um, a bunch of other great stuff happened. Um, Stuff about the Alliance for Community Media, that's fun. Um, possibility of a host screening for Catalyst. Um, oh, and the picking up of light fixtures, which there's an update on, as I can see behind yeah. me. Um, and then we had the high school report, uh, which basically talked about how the school year had ended. There was stuff about Adobe licenses and some cool stuff with the Young at Heart premiere. Um, we talked a little bit about the July workshop, which is coming up real soon, um, and what we're going to talk about at it, when it's going to be, all those specifics. Do we know who will attend the workshop? Uh, I don't think we have an official head count, but I do want to get that today. Um, and then we did some brainstorming on the fundraiser that I want to put together. And we'll probably do a little more of that today and then more of that at the workshop. Uh, then we adjourned at seven o'clock. So pretty solid. Everybody happy with the mi minutes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So then we have a motion to approve the May minutes. To be well, uh, seconded. June minutes. Uh, June. <laughs> uh, Jeremy seconds. All those in favor of approving the minutes? For June, please say aye or raise your hand. Uh, aye. Cool. Florian, you made me, uh, I usually copy and paste that stuff, and it's usually I <laughs> I go and then you second, and I had to, to change it around, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I had to change the third, four letters. It has to be correct. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Next on the agenda, we have uh, the director's report. I will screen share that as well. Hold on. I've got everything on here. Yep, that's it. All right. Um, so it's a bit of a short report. Uh, our last meeting was only three weeks ago, and one of those weeks we were away. Um, so that's a bit of news. We were away at the National ACM Conference in Brooklyn, which was a positive experience for everybody. Um, received 10 hometown media awards there, national hometown media awards in various categories, most of which were run, uh, one, excuse me, by students in, in, uh, from Northampton High School. So that was really uh, great. Um, we had all staff in attendance. Jeremy Whalen could also attend as a board rep there. Um, and it was a good experience for everybody. Um, Colleen Keogh has been working extensively in our space for the last few months with a colleague to finish a grant that we gave Colleen in 2021. Um, they've been doing some stop motion animation in our space. They're there pretty much every day. We're open for a number of hours and they're doing some post-production work now. Um, Colleen is also a professor at UMass where she teaches um, video art. And so I've mentioned her in the past before, we, just, we hope to have a video art program um, or class in conjunction with her as part of some new workshop offerings. Um, so that's been going on. Uh, we lent out a screen to the Green River Festival. That's something we do every year. They project movies at night for people who are at the Green River Festival for families, so they can have something to do when the music is over. Um, and in exchange, we get some uh, it's a publicity exchange deal for us. We get our name up on the screen and uh, some attention for our brand. Um, 
we recorded the Frederick Douglass reading, which happens at Historic Northampton every year. Um, this is a this is a, a reading where there's usually two readers going back and forth uh, reading Frederick Douglass work. Um, it happened a couple weekends ago, and and that was covered by us. Uh, we have a meeting with Salvo House tomorrow. As you may remember, we're going to be fiscal sponsors for the Salvo House um, ARPA grant. And so they are finalizing the details of their contract with the city, which we have to get complete by the end of this month. And so um, they could use our help with some of the details. And I'm going to meet with them here uh, to talk it over and make sure that that paperwork gets fired, uh, filed for them, not fired, excuse me. Did we hear from the accountant if there's anything special we have to do? Uh, just setting up another account is what he was saying. Just to keep it out of the Yeah, book. yeah. Um, or to have it separate in a separate book. I'll create a new QuickBooks um, like account, you know, like uh, every time for every account we have, we have a QuickBooks file. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do that because of a uh, QuickBooks online. Oh, okay. We need different licenses. Okay. I would just keep it in the book, but we can talk about this. But okay. if if the, if he said it's okay and we don't have to worry about it, then yeah, just okay. Record it down. Um, we picked up approximately a dozen, excuse me, two dozen lights from ESPN yesterday. These are a donation of um, a couple of different uh, light fixtures, um, 12 of each, or roughly 12 of each. I think we have 14 of one and 13 of the other, actually. This represents about $50,000 in lighting fixtures. It's not, it's not a inconsequential donation from them. We're very happy to get them. Um, and it could, you know, we're going to try to address as many of our lighting needs as we can with these fixtures. Um, and, you know, we may need to supplement them with other things moving forward, but um, it's a really great place to start and uh, we're really happy to receive them. Do we... Uh, what was I going to say? Al, do you, are those L LED? Uh, they are LED lights. They are, um, they're LEDs. I'll bring one over to camera, look. Yeah. No. Are they heavy? Yeah, they're yeah, very yeah, heavy. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. <laughs> they're extremely heavy. And there's a lot of them. Nice. Uh, I was going to say, if we could, uh, I was thinking if we could hang it from the drop ceiling and, and a couple of them from, in, uh, they're too heavy uh, to hang from a drop ceiling, but they can be put on stands. Mm. Yeah. Um, or if somebody allows for it, and if you think about the school. Yeah, I mean, there we could even pop a hole in uh, one of the, like, actually use, put them in and work with the. Um, the structures, the, the rafters. Yeah. Yeah, they could they would be hung from rafters. Um, yeah, if you got a couple trees, that would probably you'd probably be able to to make them. Oh, they're gonna lay again. <laughs> you didn't pick up earlier, but you'll pick up now, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, like maybe uh I don't know how how portable you want them to be. I assume not super, right? I don't think most of them the, certainly the spots are not portable. Oh. Most in general, they're not they're not going to be used as portable lights. Hmm. <laughs> uh, is the, the the value of the fifty thousand is this new procurement value or is this the estimated value at now? That's an estimated value for bought is new. Bought is new. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do we? Uh, maybe it's also worth checking with the accountants. Do we need to take them on anything? If they have value now for us, we might have to take them now as an accounting. I don't know. Okay. Like oh, that's yeah. a significant value. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, I can get that if it helps you both. I'm used to ignoring the phones, but I won't get it. <laughs> All right. Hello, Northampton Open Media. As we wait, this is um, a summary of our ACM Hometown Awards. Um, yes. <laughs> this, is how we, <laughs> this is how many we had. Just <laughs> it, it looks very happy. <laughs> I also have this one. A lot of awards. 
<laughs> it is very high. It's, that's true. It was quite a few. It's probably the second most that anyone won in the country, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Germantown. Germantown. <laughs> Man. <laughs> we'll get them next year. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, where, where's Germantown? Yeah, where's Ger Is that New York? There's Georgia. a Germantown in New York. I don't think it's a Germantown in New York. Mm. I think it's like in Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's a number of Germantowns are places. There's one in Pennsylvania, I know. Like, what's the region which is included in those areas? The main. Oh, this is AC. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is national. Um. Up next, we've got the quarterly finance report. Uh, so I can screen share the document for that. Um, I don't know if like someone else wants to drive that at this computer, if you have specific things you want to point to on it. No, I, okay. I, think, I think it all should be able to be seen. No problem. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. There it is. Um, okay, so this is our reconciled um, through the first six months of the year, first two quarters um, for financial year 2023. Um, you have breakouts. You've seen this this organization for these numbers uh, a number of times in the past. Um, this is our master financial doc. So if you ever want to look at anything, all the details are also on other tabs as well. Um, and this is the board summary that you're seeing right here. Um, so you'll see on the right side, um, what percentage of our of our full budgeted amounts um, are expended or accrued, um, and actually in the bottom there is I we may I may have you scroll down at one point. There are some comments on items, um, so we're over and under on on certain items here. Um, I'll note in the in the second quarter. Oh, you're seeing me highlighting it. That's great. In the second quarter uh, item here, we actually received a check that you don't see here for twenty five thousand dollars in capital funds. Um, that's because we're at the point in the contract we were well, where we will now start receiving capital money. For the next few years, we're going to be getting $75,000 a year in capital money. Um, we got $25,000 of it this year, uh, which is just how the, the contract worked that we signed um, the city and Comcast previously. Um, so that started to come in. Um, we're on track for most things. Um, our, you'll see... Yeah, Alex, can you actually scroll that down a little bit and you'll see comments below or you can see it on your, if you have it up at home. Um, through the policies that Florian and I have been working on to um, to try to talk about how we should be commenting on things and presenting things for the board, um, the model that we're trying to, one of the rules that we're trying to utilize is that if we're 20% above or below our estimate where we estimate we should be for the quarter, we're going to put some comments in about those items. Um, so that's what you're seeing down there is different comments about different numbers. Um, you'll see the date and then I refer to the cell that I'm talking about and then the comments. Um, so essentially most of these items just have to do with timing over the year. Um, there's, there's a little bit of extra income that came in and other income um, in this quarter and that's due to some unexpected reimbursement income from conference transactions in other words, we paid for something and someone paid us back for paying for it. Um, um, so that was, for instance, we did some train tickets uh, with some people that we were traveling down for, and they reimbursed us for those tickets. Uh, so that's why you see that number being slightly inflated. Um, our general business expenses, which you'll see in this cell, are a little bit low. So we're at 27%, even though we're halfway through the year. And that's just because a lot of, well, two reasons. A lot of those expenses are more year-endish. They have to do with our accounting. Um, we have a line of it in, in there for the audit, and we're not sure whether the audit's going to happen or what timeline it's going to happen, but that's a big chunk of money. Um, in fact, about half, almost half of the budget, so that hasn't happened as well. So that, that's why that number is a little bit low. Uh, moving on, rent and utilities, the expenditure is a little low, and that's just because we spent, we, we over-budgeted rent this year to be cautious, because as you may remember, as we entered the year, we hadn't had a signed um, deal yet for what kind of rent we would be paying while we were in abstention from the space at 33 Holly Street. Um, so that number I would imagine will will continue to be um, underspent through the year and fall below budget. Um, 
And again, nothing to be cautious about in that, in that area. Grants have largely, um, a lot of the grant budget has been spent. And again, that's because our grant expenditures are front loaded more than they are back loaded. Um, so we spent more money this year up front on grants. Um, a lot of that has been has already been spent down. Similarly, with other expenses, we're virtually completely expended on other expenses. And that's because we've what's inside of there is conference and travel budgets, as well as the director's discretionary budget. And we pretty much spent all the money on conference and travel that we should see for the year. There might be something I'm forgetting about, but it's certainly almost all expensive. Um, otherwise, we're in good shape. We're on track to meet our numbers. We're on track to be in the black. Um, things look good, and the organization seems financially stable in its current form. Happy to answer any questions you <laughs> may have. scroll back up here so we can see all the stuff. Yeah, I think my only side comment, uh, Ella already mentioned it, we were, we were already talking once at the board meeting about the procedure of how to comment and approve overruns, and that's what we're trying to implement here, which is, it's not an official procedure yet. Uh, we have been working on uh, Aligning this at the charts of accounts, uh, we hope maybe next time in the next meeting we can present the chart of account to the board with our basic ideas and so on, uh, and how we would like to go on forward. There will be a, we would propose a few changes, but this would be nothing too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. I appreciate all the work you guys are doing on it. It's great. Um, anybody have any other comments? Jeremy, Tim, anything? <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> Thank you for the information. All right. Up next, we have the high school report. Give him easy, Jeremy Whalen. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Um, only thing is, uh, Nola Bizanski has resigned. Um, I am in, currently in talks with Ellie Heron and Donnie. Um, and we can just a little action item will be if everybody is okay with it. I don't know if we have to take a vote or anything or recommend to a subcommittee or anything like that, but um. Uh, we I can reach out to the um to the mayor in similar fashion that we did for Nola and get the ball rolling on that, barring anything, like I said, a subcommittee recommendation or things of that nature. Um well, I know that the candidate has already been vetted through our subcommittee that we were on. So I'm happy with that. I feel like we've done some of the the proper life work on it. Um, but yeah, so that's the mayor thing is just what I was going to bring up. So if you're willing to contact the mayor or somebody else can do it, cool. if you'd like. Yep. No, I can do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I assume that, uh, they'll be cool with it. And, um, I don't know, maybe we could have them, uh, do, do you know what the, the, um, the, the candidate's schedule looks like for the summer? Um, no, but I can figure, I can figure it out. I know that they're, I know that they're back for, uh, this, they just got back, uh, this week from a vacation. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause if they wanted to stop by in August, that'd be cool. Um, uh, assuming, you know, our ducks are all in a row by then and they're not, uh, on vacation or anything. Yeah. Like give me it works out timing wise. Is there something on the board side we can do? Like when I joined the board, Mary Ellis. We had a chat for half an hour, an hour, just to understand a little bit. Is this something, either Jeremy or you, uh, that like uh, maybe we can improve on the on the taking the high schooler under the wings? I, I know for Nora it was in the beginning a little bit. She didn't feel like it, it felt like she didn't have her space here, mm. and then it, she 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 it worked out uh, over the time. But maybe we can. We can foster this a little bit more. 
yeah, I'd be happy to do a like a, a yeah. preliminary meeting. But yeah, to have another volunteer for our board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool that we, we can involve the high school that way. I think that's a. Yeah, no, I think it, that worked really, really well it was with really Nola. Cool. Yeah. Um, she was awesome. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited to have somebody else like, you know, with that same kind of background and enthusiasm. Uh, cool. All right. So. Uh, up next, um, just some uh, final prep for the workshop that is coming up in 11 days on the 22nd of July at 1 p.m., which is, I believe, a Saturday. Um, that was the day that seemed to work best for the most people. It's going to be the, uh, the whole afternoon. Uh, we're going to be doing board games. We're going to be doing... Um, uh, procedure document work and some planning for um, a big event. Um, the board games that will be there will be House of Danger, as, as discussed <laughs> earlier, um, uh, Betrayal to House on the Hill, and uh, Murder in Hong Kong. I feel like Murder in Hong Kong is the subtitle. I can't remember what the main title is, but it's Sorry. Deception, yeah. Uh, which are all great games that we should be able to sort of work within the time constraints pretty well. Um, but if anybody wants to bring any, uh, please feel free to do so. Just remember, it should be something you should be able to play either in an hour or at least like a section of it, like have a stopping point within an hour. Um, and so, oh, just to get a head count, is everybody going to be able to be there on the 22nd? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm I'll yeah, probably be here and my uh cousin's wedding is on the twenty first, but um I'm, okay. I'm Do you have any food? Like is there any food requirements for this or in I was gonna place? I was about to get to that. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know last year we did uh Mosaic Cafe, right? So we were gonna so I we were planning to or do a food order again, um, either a lunch or dinner order. Maybe if it's starting at one and we go through like five, it would make more sense to do to do dinner. But um yeah, I don't know, like if uh i think the last time the station paid for it but i'm happy to just split the check that doesn't bother me um and yeah uh if people have suggestions for where to order from you know i'm all yours there's lots of places so it's it's, it's stabbed out north <laughs> there's a lot of options i think we just you should decide if it's dinner or lunch and then we can let's i i would i think maybe we should shoot for for dinner yeah let's do for dinner because then we can actually discuss it like during the event when we're there we can be like we can also go and drink a beer afterwards if we're in there. oh that's true i'll be able to do that this time i couldn't do that at the last one because i had to leave immediately after it but this one i'll be able to stick around um cool okay um yeah, find something Let's see, uh, other things. Yeah, if anybody has any specific stuff um, for the board policy document, like a way they wanna cover it, a specific thing they wanna do with it, feel free to email me that information because I'm gonna make an agenda for that day um, and send that out probably shortly before. But um, maybe not a week before, I don't know if I'll be that on the ball, but before I just, <laughs> um, uh, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're meeting here. I assume we can. Uh, yes, that was my plan. That's a good spot. Yeah. Uh, cool. So yeah, that's um, that's that. If anybody has any comments on that, let me know. And thank you for setting this up again. Yeah, no problem. Um, uh, like I said, I'm hoping that with this one we can hammer out all of the information that's going to be included in the board policy document. And then I will probably take it or maybe form a subcommittee who will take it and then do the actual grammatical edit and like how it's going to look on the page. But yeah, so yeah, like it, it would be good to have a push again. Like we will 
we had a roar and then mm -hmm. we, yeah, yeah, we yeah. didn't. <laughs> yeah. It's good to push. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so yeah, my hope is that after this, after this event, all of the major pieces of information that need uh, to be yeah. in there will be in there. Um, okay. So final thing was, and I'm going to bring up the meeting minutes from last time to refresh my memory about some of the details here, but um Fire, uh, or any suggestions for fundraiser stuff. So the fundraisers we talked about last time, I wanted to try and do a telethon type thing. We still need to figure out a lot of the details in terms of when it's going to be, how long it's going to be, stuff like that. Um, this is, again, something that's going to come up during probably the, the second half of the workshop towards the end is my hope. Um, but again, what I'm going to be trying to do is make a presentation for the workshop of like, this is how I want this event to be structured, or at least maybe like a couple different options of like, here's a structure idea and B structure idea and C structure idea. Um, so again, if people have any suggestions now, or would like to email me anything that I can include in that, mm -hmm. please feel free to do so. Um, I would just say that. One, I think at earliest it's a spring thing of 2024. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. Um, and then I also think it's, I think that there should be a production team that helps develop it mm -hmm. and that staff should be involved in that. Yeah. And um, also just a note, a lot of, you know, a lot of, a lot of public television stopped doing telethons as a model because they weren't, they lost money on them. Oh, really? How much time they put into them. So that doesn't mean this telethon has to be like that. Um, there are things, they do one in Athol Orange. They do a fundraiser that's similar to this. That's a community media example of somebody who's doing it, and they make about $20,000 doing it. Um, I don't know how much time they put into it. Um, and then also another example, I know Tim has a lot of like event fundraising experience, and he could speak to that, but... Um, the other example I thought, oh, there was um, the music department in the high school did a fundraiser for a couple of years. Um, that ra I don't know, I can't remember how much money they raised, but um, that was something they did as well. And that was a lot of performance. And we used to help them with that. Um, but I mean, I think there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Yeah, I think, I think going into it, like you mentioned a few things, it should be clear what is our fundraising goal mm -hmm. and then adjust the organization around it like i don't know and then i don't know if we raise twenty thousand dollars then i would i would already go in mind with what do we want to spend the money on like again if the, the, the problem as well for the overall budget ten fifteen thousand dollars might not be worth it it's especially when where we have the chance to put norm out and do something in the community and and create awareness and stuff like that and it feels like that's more the goal if we have some initiative in mind which is worth supporting in the community or something like that that it's uh mm. that there's a clear goal in mind um and maybe then if, if we build a tradition of fundraisers that we have this once a year and maybe then that's a, a platform to reach long-term donors or something like that um Right. Yeah, because because my hope was that we're driving people towards rather than one time donations, Patreon yeah. signups. Right. So then you're getting reoccurring donations, and you're you know, sort of changing your 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 base of funding yeah. going forward. Um, but I think that should be a strategic decision. Is like we we will not sign up. I don't know, five thousand donors who uh, who. Uh, uh, stuff the hole which is created by the uh, diminishing uh, Comcast fee. Like, so I don't know, I, yeah. So I don't know. Just the the fundraiser is to get Patreon subscribers? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So it's not about the actual money, it's about getting, you, know, you want subscribers over. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's my, th that's what I think makes the most sense with it because like I was saying, then you're getting more of a base of funding going forward rather than a one-time thing. Um, but it, my question was, is it worth it if we don't fully commit to the Patreon model? I, like yeah. if, if we have, I don't know, if, if it's a successful marathon and it's 50 to 100 subscribers, I, I think that's a high number. They will donate $5 a month. It's not that much money that it's, 
Yeah, but it's ongoing. It's ongoing. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think having that as a goal is very is specific, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's good mm-hmm. in that sense. But and and it comes with its own tricky things like you don't have to just buy a ticket and show up. You have to sign up for something. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to give some thought to that. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's a cool opportunity to present Norm in the community, and then just depending on what what we do, but. Mm-hmm. just to be clear about the goal i think that's there's nothing point cool yeah i think okay so that's definitely one of the things that i will put into the the presentation that i give for it during the workshop which will be time frame so spring of 2024 shoot for that and um the fact that it's supposed to you know here's here's like the if we want patreon signups here's the number that we should be shooting for and then we can kind of figure out a budget based on that because we'll know generally how much money that's going to generate cool okay that sounds great that gives me a good a good direction to go in for that i can send you some notes too that i have in mind yeah i can also contact uh you said orange notes nice yeah uh apple orange yeah there is more of an auction hmm um, which is like a model for it's tel- is a model for telethons. Like they go to businesses and they get all the stuff donated. And then they, you know, it starts actually, you know, a week before. Like you can start bidding on stuff very early online. It's like a silent auction. Or- it's like a silent auction. And then the day of, they do like the whole, you know, live talking about products in the community and they have people on the come and they talk to like if you've seen that kind of style of telethon mm-hmm. and then they people call in and there's a phone bank and so there's a lot of organizational elements to that for sure but um but that's what they're doing yeah no but that's cool the place in the area does still do that so yeah can get some info from them yeah nice all right cool yeah send me notes yeah. I'll look into this for my, my little presentation. Um, all right. But that's, that's, I think that's that. Oh, Jeremy, just a uh, uh, totally different topic. If you could include a copy of the financial figures in the minutes. Yeah, yeah. I, I put the, su- I put that summary in. Perfect. Um, but that's it for the agenda. Did anyone else have anything they wanted to bring up? Okay, cool. Uh, maybe just a side check in on the new board members. Is there? Oh, there was there wasn't any new info on my end from them, which is why I didn't put it in the agenda. But actually, you know, I did want to bring up that I want to, if. I was going to say August, but that might be tough. Maybe September. I definitely want to shoot for a time where we have a big update on that from our subcommittee, uh, Jeremy. So let me know if you would want to try to do that in August or wait until September to do it. Because again, we have time, but I do. September. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, let's plan on doing a big update on all that stuff in September. Um, One other thing to note is if we can... It would be very helpful for me if we could uh, set an annual meeting date this year. Yep. And if we could have it happen either in October or November. Okay. Um, because I plan on doing some traveling in December. Sure. And I don't want uh, that to become problematic. And so um, that might be something we want to start talking about in August. Great. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, if that's in the notes, then I will remember to put that in the agenda for August. <laughs> cool. And then we'll we'll figure out a date for that. Cool. cool. All right. Um, sounds great. Yes. Um, uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. My second. second. Jeremy was faster. Yeah. Uh, now, now more, more work for me. <laughs> All right. All those in favor of adjourning the July meeting, say aye or raise your hand. Uh, All right. Cool. All right. The meeting is adjourned. Everybody, thanks for coming. Sweet. Take care.